Hi, Dr. Caddy here. Some quick thoughts on how to create and uh, write your last name and page number in uh, the document header as is required by uh, MLA format. As you can see, I am at a blank Word document. Okay, And to, to get into the header, you would come up and say insert header and then just go with the first one blank. Okay. And you see it says type here, so I can, if I want, um, come in and type my name, but I want to add a page number. So I'm going to say insert page number, okay? And it's going to be number three. See how it's flush to the right, okay? And there you see the number, all right? Now I need my last name on every page. So I'm going to type my last name with a dash and a space. Okay. Then I hit escape, and you can see how it grayed out. Okay. Now that gray simply means that it's in the header. And for those of you who don't know, the header is an area of a document that you normally can't type in. It's the margin, if you will. And as you know, MLA requires one inch margins all around, uh, which makes the document look more clean. So that when we write in the margin like this, uh, it doesn't count in the document, so it's not taking up any space. Okay? Now I'm going to insert a page here. So I do insert page break. Okay? And now you can see page one, there's page two. Okay? And I can go on and on and on. You don't even have to attend it anymore. At this point, when you get to the bottom of two and you go into page three, it's going to automatically put that information in there. Okay. Um, so when you are formatting your document, it's not a case of typing your last name and a page number at the top of the document. It literally has to be in the header, as I just showed you. Okay. Now, you can get fancy here. Technically speaking, you're not really supposed to have this on the first page, simply because normally you have the header information over here. So it's redundant. So how do you fix that? Okay. Well, you can go into Layout Page Setup. Okay. And then under layout, you see a little button here that says different first page okay, with regard to headers and footers. So when I click on different first page and then say OK, okay now the numbering starts on page two. You see page one is blank. Okay. And in our normal document, I would have my um, MLA header info here. Oops, typo. And then this would be line two, line three, and line four. Okay. And then my text would start here. And as you can see, I'm in double space, so I don't really have to worry about that. Okay. But my page number now starts at two and goes on from there. Okay. Hope that was helpful. Okay. Again, you are in insert. Okay. You're going to go into header. And then you're going to say insert page number. Okay. Then you're going to type in your last name. And then when you hit escape, it pulls you out and puts you into the text part. Okay. So you can review the beginning okay, of this video, which is really the only part that shows you what's going on. I hope this was a helpful tip.